Monday.com is now a leading all-in-one project management and CRM software that stands out due to its simplicity and visually pleasing user experience. This allows businesses, small and large, to collaborate on one easy-to-use platform. And Monday.com now generously offers individuals a free plan which is ideal for freelancers and small businesses looking to get started with project management and or customer relationship management. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome along. I hope you're having a great week. Now today I'm excited to take your hand and walk you through this updated for 2021 Monday.com tutorial for beginners. Now in this video, I will help you get started with Monday.com and understand the awesome features that will help you better manage your projects and customers all in one place. Okay, now before we jump into monday.com, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with monday.com. <music> Okay, so to get started with Monday, simply head over to your browser and type in monday.com or click the link below this video in our description and that will take you to this page. Now, it's important to note that this is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan within monday.com, we will get a small commission. And this just helps us continue to create educational content for this channel, so thank you in advance. Okay, now before we go ahead, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, monday.com now offers a free plan. So what we're gonna do is navigate over to prices by simply clicking Monday up on the top left hand side. Then head over to pricing. And under pricing, you'll notice that monday.com now offers a free individual plan. This is for up to two users and ideal for small businesses and freelancers looking to get started with project management or CRM activities. However, with the free plan, you do have many limitations. We recommend going with the standard plan, especially if you have a team of three or more, because with the standard plan, you have access to automations, which are incredibly useful. And we're going to dive into automations later in this tutorial. And as you can see, starting at $30 per month is affordable for most small businesses. And each of these plans offer a 14 day free trial to see if monday.com works for you or even if the pay plan works for you. If it doesn't, you can always downgrade to the free plan if you have a team of up to two users that want to have access to this platform. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click try for free under the standard plan. Okay, so go ahead and quickly set up your monday.com account and we'll meet you at your monday.com dashboard. Okay, now once you've completed your monday.com account setup, this is where we can go ahead and invite our team members by entering their email in here. However, we're going to show you how to do this from your monday.com dashboard. So come down and click I'll do it later. And this is where we can select a template to get started with our project management. However, what we're going to do is exit out of template center and welcome to your monday.com dashboard this is where the magic happens this is where we can create projects manage projects teams staff sales sales funnels campaigns and more through monday.com this can be your all-in-one productivity platform okay so let's understand and break down how monday.com works first we have workspace so if we navigate over to main workspace and if we come down, you'll notice that we have one default workspace. This is where your projects, your CRM, this is where all your different workflows begin. Now for most small businesses, you'll only need one workspace. So you can begin by clicking main workspace or you can create a new workspace. What we're going to do is use this existing main workspace. Now by default, like you saw earlier, we have one project within our workspace. We want to create a fresh workspace. So what we're going to do is get rid of this project by simply clicking these three dots and coming down and selecting delete. And as you can see, our workspace is empty. What we want to do is create our first board or our first project. To do that, navigate over to add under our workspace. And before we go ahead and create a new board for a particular client, what we want to do is manage all our projects in different folders. For example, if you had multiple clients and then you had multiple projects 
for each of those clients, you want to be able to manage specific projects under specific folders. For example, if I click new folder and then type in client A for the purpose of this tutorial and then hit enter to confirm, just like that, you can see we've created our first folder. So for example, I could have multiple folders for different clients, but what I wanna do is add one more folder for the purpose of this tutorial, and that's gonna be for our CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software. And with client A, we're gonna create a workflow for a project for this client. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly add another folder and just call this Sales CRM. And I'm happy with those two folders for today's tutorial. Now what we wanna do is select client A. This is our first folder that we created. And now we wanna create a board in this folder. Now a board can literally be anything. It could be marketing activities, a CRM. It could be HR activities. It could be managing education. Basically think of a board as a particular project related to your business. So what we're gonna do is actually create a board, a project from scratch and then navigate over to start from scratch and use. We're gonna name this board Client A Web Design Project. Now, because I'm creating this Web Design Project board within the folder Client A, I wouldn't actually need Client A here, but just to keep things clear, I'm gonna leave Client A at the beginning of this title for this particular board. Come down and either keep main selected, visible to everyone in your account. You can also select private for working by yourself or with selected team members, or you can select shareable. And this is for if you're working with those outside your organization. This is important if you want your customers, your clients, to follow a project that you're working on. For example, if they wanna watch the different phases of your project to monitor progress, then you can share this with those individuals outside your organization. But what we're gonna do is click main. We want our entire team to be able to see this project. Then come down and click create board. Now boards within monday.com can be broken down into a few simple elements. First we have groups. For example, these can be project phases, stages, or timeframes. Then within groups, we have items. Items are basically tasks, campaigns, features, anything that ultimately makes up your project. For example, this is a web design project. So what we wanna do first is add a description to this project. We're gonna leave that blank for now, then come down and what we wanna do is add our group titles. So our first group is actually gonna be called client requirements. Then our second group is gonna be called in progress. Now, if your project consists of multiple groups, what you can do is add additional groups. For example, next to new item, simply click the down arrow and click new group of items. Now for the purpose of this tutorial and this project, I need four groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one more group. And as you can see, I now have four groups. I'm gonna name this group up here and I'm gonna call this testing. And our last group is gonna be called executed slash completed. Now to simply rearrange your groups, all you need to do is navigate over to drag group and then simply click and drag where you wanna place your group. So this is executed and completed. This is our project workflow. Basically all our tasks start from client requirements. So what I need to do is actually move client requirements and put that above testing. So that is our project workflow for this web design project. So now what I need to do is enter in our items. Remember, items can be tasks, campaigns, features, anything that makes up your project. So simply click on each item to edit the item and simply add your new item. For us, this is gonna be called homepage. You can come down and view updates and the activity log related to this task, this item. And once you've added your new item, just click exit. And then you can come down and modify each of these items and you can also go ahead and add additional items under each of these groups. So what I'm gonna do is add additional items and tasks that need to be completed for this project. And as you can see, I've added additional items. Now I'm gonna make this screen slightly bigger by minimizing our main workspace on the left-hand side. Now next to each item, you can see these columns. These are important columns that are related to your task. For example, at the moment we've got status. You can come down and simply select next to the task and then select the label or edit labels. 
Now what I want to do is expand the columns by simply resizing the columns like that. And next to status we have person. Now under person we have the person associated with the item. At the moment we just have myself. You can see that it's currently being worked on. So what I want to do is actually move this task, this item, and move that to in progress. To do that I'm going to simply click this down arrow and drag this task down to in progress and drop that task in progress. Now I actually want in progress above testing. Testing actually comes after in progress when we're ready to test. So what I'm going to do is come down and drag this group and drag that above testing. So that is my project workflow. That is correct. Now you can see that I've dragged the task homepage task which is an item under the folder in progress and you can see that that is currently being worked on. Now let's say I completed this task. What I would do is click done and then drag this task and add that to executed down here. Or if I was testing it, I'll drag it to testing. So I hope that makes sense. Now back to columns, you can go ahead and simply add individuals by clicking here and then clicking invite new member by email. So I'm going to go ahead and add a team member and then come down and click invite as member and then click persons again and come down and allocate this individual and they will get the notification to join Monday. Now if you navigate along columns we have other options for example if we click add column we can come down and add a timeline, numbers, other statuses, we've already got status, uh, people, this could be team members, dates, time tracking, dependency, formula, files, text, for example, if we wanted to add a description about this task, this item, we can also add sub items. So for example, if I click sub items, I can now navigate over to sub items and I can add a sub item under each item. So for example, with booking form, I can click add and then come down here and add a sub item to this booking form. And then again, I have the same columns that I can customize over here. I can also go ahead and add additional columns. Now we can also navigate up to add view and we can add an additional view for example table, calendar, chart and others. Now based on your monday.com plan you might not have access to some of these. So for example if I click calendar I can go ahead and name this calendar if I like and you can see we now have the main table view which is what we created to begin with and then we have a calendar view of our projects. You can see we can add deadlines to these tasks to this project and we can view our tasks in a calendar format. So if we navigate back to main table, we can also come down to invite members to invite other team members to monday.com rather than just inviting them directly on the board itself to work on a particular task. So navigate up to exit. We can also go ahead and automate. Now this is a powerful feature with monday.com. However, you do not have access two automations within the free plan or basic plan but essentially what you can do is navigate through all these different automations and you can set up automations with your boards with your items tasks for example if we click on this automation here when a status changes to something notify someone if we click here for example when a status so if we click here and click status you can see status is selected changes to something if we click something and come down to stuck we can select notify someone and we can add some basic details in here and then we can come down and select an individual that gets notified based on the information over here this is rather than if someone gets stuck on something they have to manually reach out to the individual that's associated with that task and ask them for support this could be an automatic notification that is more efficient and less time consuming and that way that particular task or subtask will be unstuck sooner rather than later so if we navigate up to back so it's extremely easy to set up important automations for your projects. Take the time to navigate through some of these automations or type in keywords related to your automation and simply locate and set up that automation within minutes. So if we exit out of automations, now what we want to do is quickly show you how you can get started with a CRM through monday.com. So remember, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, you can manage client projects through monday.com and you can set up sales pipelines 
and more through monday.com. So if we navigate back over to our dashboard by expanding the navigation and then under main workspace, remember we created a folder called sales CRM. If we click over here and then navigate down to create board in folder, and then here we have the option to create a board from scratch or we can browse categories. What we wanna do is select sales and CRM under categories. And then for the purpose of this tutorial, what we wanna do is actually select a pre-made template, click use. And just like that, we've generated a complete CRM template. Now, if we navigate over to the left-hand side under our workspace, you can see our three folders here. Now, the CRM template that we selected actually came in a folder. And then within our folder, we have one, two, three, four, five projects, or in this case, CRM elements. As you can see, we have this board selected. This is the sales pipeline we can navigate across and see the entire sales pipeline and we can customize any of these elements these categories as well as these tasks or in this case deals just like we showed you how to do when we created the project for client a now if we navigate down to the crm folder within the crm folder we have sales pipeline selected we've just discussed we also have contacts then we have lead capturing Below lead capturing, we have sales dashboard, and then we have the CRM learning center. Now, because this is a beginner's tutorial, we're not gonna dive deep into the CRM capabilities. However, if you do wanna learn more about monday.com CRM, you can watch Monday's video here. Or what we'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above that will take you through a more in-depth look of Monday's CRM. We'll link that up above and add that in the description below this video. However, if we navigate back over to Sales Pipeline, now if you're thinking about using monday.com as a CRM, I highly recommend using a template to get started. This is because you'll understand how to use automations, which is a key component to the structure of how monday.com works in terms of its CRM. For example, if we navigate up to Automate, you can see that this particular board has nine active automations. It's important to go through all these automations and understand how each of these automations flow. And that will give you a good idea of how you can structure your CRM. Now, if we navigate up to exit and navigate over to a different board, let's head over to lead capturing. You can see that this board has two automations. Then if we navigate over to sales dashboard, here we have our sales board, which is made up of widgets that you can customize. So each of these elements here are widgets that you can customize and set up automations. Now, unfortunately, you can't access a comprehensive CRM through monday.com like this with the free plan. You do need to upgrade to a paid plan in order to get started with the CRM capabilities. However, that is a brief tutorial to help you get started with project management and customer relationship management through monday.com. And there we have it. That is it for this updated monday.com tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like below this video and subscribe to the channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.